This video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. For all your music and sound needs, please visit Epidemic Sound if you need ocean waves, a face slap or punch, <laughs> thunder, keyboard clicking, Some 90s rock and roll for your first month's free please visit epidemic sound link in my description let's get into the video Sam told me to use this lens I didn't want to at all look at it he said trust me <laughs> okay so what is the goddamn deal YouTube is of course your boy Volandis um, we're gonna be I know this is a it's a sight to see but if you watch the video, you know that I, I gave this camera, the only Nikon camera, to get a pass. This and the F2 to get a pass. Get a, get a close-up of the F3. It's cool though. It's not that cool because it's Nikon, but it, whatever. I, I give it I, <laughs> I give it a pass. But this shit dope though because you know it comes off. Then you can start, you can shoot this bitch like a you know waist level viewfinder. You can't really tell what's in focus though. That's the only like, unless you like got this bitch like super close but i don't know bro I, I think it's kind of pointless but it's cool though but yeah f3 we're gonna see what it's hitting for 35 millimeter uh we're shooting with squid her her car pair first we're gonna do just a simple just sit on the car yeah it's hard to tell what's in focus with this camera True. a little bit yeah the night con for show like huh like not really a review i'm just shooting with the camera to see if i like it what? or not <laughs> you missed the whole first part of that square when i gave I, like, I gave this camera a pass it's the only nikon camera to get a pass i'm looking for a good angle if that means walking around the entire car that's what i'm gonna do god damn it <laughs> <laughs> you think you can park your car like in here Let's see. Or park just like uh, sideways like this. Like right here. Like back here? Yeah. But like at an angle. It's kind of cold out here. My hands are actually yet. They getting there. My hands are cold. We're shooting with that Portra 800. Um, I loaded this up yesterday, so I didn't get a shot of me loading it. All right, one, two. Oh, it's a light meter in this shit. Oh, they say I'm overexposed. Wow. Wow. You like that? Y'all see that? You like that Nikon? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas are ladies right now. Can't believe this shit, sweet. Like <laughs> it's kind of sweet. I ain't gonna lie Nikon to you. Boy. Shit, kind of sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Shit gonna shoot or what? Maybe I don't like this shit. Is you a mannequin? Me? Yeah. Um. It's not white tits, it's cute. Nah, that's just my nails. You got white tits, bro. <laughs> that's just his nails. Are you serious? Swear. No way. Swear to God. Just my nails. Bro, look like you really got your nails done. <laughs> this shit not working? Maybe I don't like Nikon. Nikon Y'all <laughs> was on a good roll, bro. I don't know what the fuck going on. I'm about to load up another roll of film, though. Because I don't know what's going on. Really? I swear to God. He tells, he feels like chemical, like, 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 What's wrong with this shit, bro? It's like... It don't make no sense, though, because it shoots all the way up until the fucking film was in it. I knew I hated <laughs> Knew I hated this fucking brand. <laughs> nah, I got one. Niggas, all that. You ain't got no reason to hate Nikon. How about this, nigga? <laughs> How about they fucking suck? I'm gonna call Sam real quick.
quick before we, uh, you know, get kicked out. Um, if you are a watcher of this channel, you've seen this spot plenty of times before, but you've never seen this spot shot on a Nikon camera. If you've also never seen this spot with Ryan in it. Actually, if you're a watcher of this channel, you've seen Ryan in it. But like, you have to really watch these videos to like, remember that. It just feels like a normal 35 millimeter SLR. The only thing about this one is that the little top comes off. I'm not really even sure what that does. Here, get a little, get a little. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Looking like a real Nikon. <laughs> Looking like a real dumbass. There we go. Anyway, we are back at the crib and, you know, clearly I went out shot with a Nikon. And for anybody who's confused, I've been, I've been posting this particular Nikon on my page for the past couple of days since I got it from Sam. It is not mine, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. I did not own this camera. I did not buy this camera. I did. I don't own it. It's Sam's. He let me use it to make this video. You know that I said that the F3 and the F2 get a pass for me. It's a it's an okay looking camera and um, the glass is very good. Mostly for the glass though. Like the glass is very good and the photos that I've seen from these two cameras are pretty, pretty good. So when I say I don't like Nikon, I'm more so talking about their newer like, you know, DSLR bodies. I don't even know what they are. D a G, I don't know what the hell these these cameras are, but they're newer bodies that are just big, clunky, and yeah, uh, bro. When when I posted the Nikon video and why I don't like Nikon, so many people like, bro. I just don't understand where these people come from, bro. Like, and then I I just I really feel like people comment, make comments just to get a reaction or just to feel like they like people's main goal on YouTube is to call people out or to make people look bad or you know what I'm saying so people just they just want to start some type of altercations whatever we're not even going to talk about that we're going to be talking about the Nikon F3 hold on so the Nikon F3 this is stupid to say but I don't I don't be caring I I just like I like the the small things I like little things but like a good selling point for this camera for me is literally it being a um like waist level viewfinder like you be, being able to take this viewfinder off and and just being able to look through the lens that way even though i feel like i mean it's very hard to focus doing it like that and i would never take a photo like that but hey it's fun and it's cool and you know if you got i, I don't know if they make something else i didn't look in too too much into like what this camera comes with what is you know what i'm saying it's just i just wanted to use the camera and i did to be honest i feel like this camera is just like any other um 35 millimeter SLR that I've ever used like the Canon AE1 um, just those type of cameras but the thing is with this camera I just feel like the glass is a lot better if anything I can give Nikon props for on their film cameras at least is the glass that was made for these cameras very sharp very good glass a 24 millimeter lens which is on it right now I'm not sure I've ever shot with any film SLR that had a 24 millimeters usually like 28 35 50 clearly and just like regular you know but there, there's i don't think i've ever shot with an slr that had a 24 millimeter lens and also a 24 millimeter lens that's this sharp and like i would be happy to shoot with any time so that reason this this camera is up there for me in um slr film cameras a lot of people are very confused that I, I have this camera that like i was shooting with this camera after all the shit i talked about nikon i keep trying to tell people that like it gets the pass just this camera this camera and this camera alone and f2 so just two cameras that they haven't made in <laughs> like a century like centuries i don't know when this camera came out i'll look it up right now the nikon f3 which was under commercialization in conjunction with the development of <laughs> bro <laughs> these words just for no reason of the nasa specification based cameras was released in march 1980 as the flagship electronically controlled aperture priority ae slr camera so this camera is you know just very old before i was born before i was even thought about being born this camera was out and people were using it um nasa so that's probably why it's so good because it was used for those type of things so mm, it's one of the better uh slr kind of film cameras that 
I think that you can get for the price that it's at. So you can get one for about, uh, it says average 160 to 180 and like a very good one, probably mint condition, no scratches and none of that is uh, like 220, 240. But with lenses, you're probably gonna pay like $350 to $400, depending on how many lenses you get or you know which lenses you get. So that that's also a factor. But I think for the price, you get a very good kind of SLR body camera. And it, it just feels weird to me to be talking so highly of a camera that was made by this brand. I, I read low key that um, Nikon is going out of business. Like a lot of people was tagging me on Twitter about uh, article about them like randomly going out of business. Let me see if I can find that real quick. I know y'all came here for the, the camera review and for me to, you know, kind of talk about the camera. Y'all know I don't be reviewing shit for real. So the camera is very good camera. I'll, I'll say it's a good camera. You know, I already had my um, thoughts about the F3 and they stay the same after using it for the first time. Very good camera to say the least. Am I going to get it? Mm, probably not, but very good camera. I wouldn't mind having it if I somehow obtained it somehow. I wouldn't mind it, but do I see myself going out to buy it? No. Also, it says they're going to release two new DSLRs <laughs> next year. Um, Nikon in dire straits as its slump is particularly untimely. When I, when I see the word dire, I'm like, oh shit, it's some shit. I would read this whole article to y'all, um, but I, it's just going. Let me just skim over it real quick. Just give me a second. Pretty much what it's saying is that they're because of COVID that, you know, in smartphones, but they saying that it's not really because of smartphones, but mainly because of COVID, they're like 40% down from their previous term. I don't really know too much what that means. They're saying that the Nikon's entry into mirrorless may have come too late. People don't care. People already have like their Sony's, their Fuji cameras, their Canon cameras. And I guess Nikon got into the game too late and it's just people don't want them anymore but do highly recommend the only nikon camera i do highly recommend and that's mostly because of the glass not so much for the camera anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you didn't i do not care um if you are not subscribed to the channel please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button it is always and truly and gratefully appreciated if you are already subscribed you are a real nigga and i'm not talking to you because you did what you had to do and yeah man i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one and yeah we got some fun things on the way some fun things happening doing some fun photo shoots, working on my book, doing a lot of photos for my book. So just, you know, stay tuned for all of that. I hate, I hate, don't you, don't y'all hate when creators say stay tuned? Like, you okay, bet. Catch y'all in the next one. Let's go do some shit.